Hi, is it possible to put metal in a microwave oven? Let's put this spoon for 30 seconds and see what happens. Okay. It's a little bit hot, not too awful though. Hmm. So I guess there has been some high amounts of current running through the metal to make it still touchably warm. So not a lot of power consumption. But now, what if I put two spoons side by side in there? Here we go. Still nothing, eh? Well. Ouch! They are hot, but nothing terrible happened. I mean, the food gets hot in there too, so what's the big deal? Well, let's raise them a little bit on this empty cardboard box and see if that makes a difference. Still nothing. I bet these are pretty hot now. Ow. Oh, even the cardboard box is hot. Ow. Let's place them pretty close without touching. Ready? No problem. So I guess it's okay to put metal in the microwave. No, we must be missing something. Wasn't putting metal in the microwave supposed to be dangerous? Let's put them in this glass at an angle and maybe that makes a difference. No touching. There is only this much space between the spoons and there is still no arcing. Who said that it was dangerous to put them in there? So the question is, under what condition it gets dangerous to put metal in the microwave? I have seen these metal stands for microwave ovens that they put food over to warm it up. So I guess it is okay under some conditions to put metal in the microwave, but what? For example, it should be fine to place a flat piece of metal in the oven without a problem. See? Metal in general reflects most of the electromagnetic wave in there, but obviously it's getting warm, so it must be absorbing some of it. Yeah, it's a little warm, not too bad actually. I mean, the body of the oven is made of metal, so it's all reflective and shouldn't be a problem. And I assume this also acts as a very good reflector. I wonder what happens if I place a spoon with a distance on top of this in the oven. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Let's bring the spoon even closer to the aluminum sheet. Still no arcing though, but I bet they're all getting warm. Oh yeah, they are pretty hot. Uh, let's try again. I put the spoon directly on top of the aluminum foil. I bet nothing happens again. It was supposed to be dangerous. I'm going to put these spoons vertical and parallel to each other like this in the oven. And see what happens. There we are. I was expecting some good arcing. Nothing. Ooh, smoke. What's going on? Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna set my alarm. My clamp melted in there. So something is getting warm, damn it. Well, if I remember correctly, if you put two aluminum foils like this close to each other in the oven, it should arc. Well, let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Finally! There we are! It melted! But apparently not because it arced to this one, because this one is not melted. So what's going on? Let's just put one of them in there and see what happens. Why did this one melt then? Try again in a different location. Ooh. Where is it arcing to? I think I see what might be going on. It's just jumping from the very sharp edges. Maybe that's why, because these spoons don't have sharp edges, so nothing jumps out. Let me make a sharp tower and see what happens. Sharpity sharp. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, see? The sharp tip is gone. <laughs> so is it just dangerous to put sharp metal in the microwave and every other round soft edge metal in microwave oven is fine? 
Something important I should mention, if you put a fork in the oven, well, nothing happens. But any kind of metal you put in the oven that touches the wall of the oven, that will happen, which is bad. I don't know why I thought the arc would jump between two pieces of metal, but apparently not. So arc just happens with a piece of metal with sharp edges? Not even this! Let's make it wider a little bit. Does it have anything to do with the length of the piece maybe? Oh, this is long. I'll just lay it flat and see. Do it just get warm? Oh, geez, what happened? Hmm. It arced right in the middle of it. What if I cut it exactly at 12.2 millimeter of the wavelength size? Should be the best antenna to pick up that frequency. So far, the edge was the king. Well, let's raise it a little bit higher. I want to put it in the middle of all the standing waves. How about half a wavelength? Nothing. My box is super hot, but nothing else. Okay, so based on all my tests, it's just the sharpest edge that the arc might jump off of. So let me try my X-Acto knife. I'll raise it on the box too a little bit, see what happens. Not even the sharp edge of the knife? Is it safe to put metal in the microwave? <laughs> the hell man let's just drop it on the bed what a arcless piece of video this is this knife has a ton of sharp edges okay, take the glass out i just put a piece of plastic in there and a spoon on top spoon has round edges though so no rotating spoon anymore. How about a half a wavelength sheet on the plastic? How about the knife? Nothing! I just have a hot crispy knife. So it's all just about very sharp edges of aluminum foil? What if I make a ball? My power level is at maximum, so there is no excuse for not arcing. How about a loose ball? Oh, I saw some arc. Hmm, now the bed might work because it might move the ball into a much more powerful area of the chamber. I might be just unlucky and put the ball in a low power area of a chamber in the low power standing wave side. I did show in one of my old videos that heating a box you can see hot spots of the microwave standing waves. And rotating the box with the plate helps heat up the box more evenly. And so it's more likely for the metal to go over high energy spots. Here, just put it in there. Oh, oh arcs. Nothing magnificent. I remember the first time I saw an arc was when I put two sheets of aluminum foil side by side and they were in zigzag shape. Something like this. And I thought they were jumping to each other. Let's try it. Here's my foils. I heard something. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> this one has the bottom of it melted and the other one has the top of it melted. So they are not jumping to each other. They're just jumping. Let's put a single one in then. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> so arcing in the microwave, which is not a healthy thing to happen in a microwave because arcs generate or consume a lot of energy and can fry your microwave, only happens when you have very sharp pointy edges of aluminum foil in your oven. And when the table turns and the foil goes over an area of high concentrated energy, it could arc. There you go. Hey, <laughs> stop it. 
So let's try one last time to confirm my theory. I made a piece of sheet, mostly with round edges and only one spike at the top. If it jumps only from the tip there, then my theory is correct. Okay, what happened? Well, the tip is gone, but the side is completely gone too. <laughs> I guess the entire edge of the foil is sharp anyway. Well, let's put an empty can of soda in there and see what happens. Nothing. And it's a little bit warm. So the moral of the story is, it seems if you accidentally leave metals in your microwave oven, as long as they don't have very sharp edges, there shouldn't be any arcing and they just warm up like food. I suppose if you leave them in there for extended period of time, the metal can get super hot and dangerous. But other than that, it's very hard to make an arc in a microwave oven. I mean, it's easy if you know how to make it. You just need a ton of sharp edges. Let's put all of them in there and turn it on. You should be getting arcs anyway. There you go. <laughs> wow, nice. Stop it. And that, if you leave it in there for a long period of time, could put too much load on your oven and burn it. Ow. But beside that, if random cutlery are in your oven, probably nothing happens. Just be careful, okay? I've never been so disappointed in the lack of arcs. 